So let me give you a nice simple construction of a general family of two universal hash functions. So remember the definition of such a family. It should be the case that for every z and z prime in the range of the hash functions, and for any x and x prime in the domain that are different, so for every x different from x prime, then the probability when I choose a random hash function that it maps x to z and x prime to z prime, this should be the same as the probability you'd get if the outputs were completely uniformly distributed, so 2 to the minus 2m. So for our construction, we're going to interpret the input here, the range, as a finite field. So instead, I'm going to give you a construction of hash functions f that map elements from a finite field f to the same finite field f. So this f is a finite field. And for example, we could take the finite field with 2 to the n elements, and then that would let us apply our construction to the setting of n bit strings that we've been considering so far. In order to get outputs that are m bit strings for any m that's less than n, what we'd do is simply compute these functions and then truncate the output. Write it as a n bit string and remove the n minus m first bits or n minus m last bits, and this would work. So this is going to be fully general. What's the family of functions? Very simple. h is equal to all affine functions. So it's the set of all f, a, b that go from f to f. a, b are both elements of the finite field. And what they do is they map x to a, x plus b, linear functions. What's great about these is that they're very easy to evaluate. Also, the size of the family of functions is not too big. The size of h is the size of the finite field squared. In the case of our application to n bit strings, we would get 2 to the 2n. This is relevant because that's the size of the seed that's required to choose a function at random. So we would get a seed length 2 to 2n, which is not too bad. It's linear in the length of the input. OK, why is this a family of two universal hash functions? We need to check the condition. So let's take x different from x prime z and z prime and evaluate this probability. So what's the probability when I choose a random function, which is the same as choosing these coefficients a and b at random, that I have ax plus b equals to z and ax prime plus b prime plus b equals to z prime. This is the same as the probability over a and b that b is equal to z minus ax. And then I can replace b in the other equation and I will get a x prime minus x equals to z prime minus z. So this is the probability over a and b that a x prime minus x equals z prime minus z times the probability that b equals z minus ax conditioned on a x prime minus x equals z minus z prime. Now this first probability here, it only involves a and because x is different from x prime, this is important, I can divide, this is a finite field, and on the right hand side I would have a fixed element, z prime minus z divided by x prime minus x. I take a uniformly at random, what's the probability that it hits that fixed element, 2 to the minus m, the size of the, let me write this as the size of the finite field, f minus 1. And here, same thing, the conditioning fixes the value of a, if a is fixed, x is fixed, z is fixed, I'm choosing z at random, b at random, then I will get a probability here that is 2 to the minus m if the finite field had size 2 to the m, in general size of the finite field minus 1. So my probability is just size of the finite field to the minus 2, which is one of the size of the finite field squared, which since in the case of my hash functions here, the range is the finite field, I get exactly the probability that I wanted here. So this is a simple check that we have a family of two universal hash functions. And so combined with what we saw in the previous module, this gives us a complete construction of a strong seeded extractor in the case of no side information. And the goal of the next few modules is to build up on the proof that we've seen so far in order to show that the same family of hash functions also gives us a strong seeded extractor in the case where there is quantum side information.